Yahuchanan, John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Eth Elohim, and the Word was Elohim. The same was in the beginning with Eth Elohim. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from Yahweh, whose name was Yahuchanan. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lights every man that comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of Yahweh, even to them that believe on his name. which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of Yahweh. And the word was made flesh, and tabernacled among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the Yahid of the Father, full of grace and truth. Yahuchanan bore witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spoke. He that comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the Torah was given through Moshe, grace and truth, came by Yahusha, HaMashiach. Eth no man has seen Yah at any time. The Yahid, which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. And this is the record of Yahuchanan, when the Yahudim sent priests and Leviim from Yerushalayim to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not HaMashiach. And they asked him, What then? Are you Eliyahu? And he said, I am not. Are you that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who are you? that we may give an answer to them that sent us. What say you of yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make straight the way of Yahweh. As said the prophet Yeshayahu. And they which were sent were of the Parashim. And they asked him and said unto him, why immerse you then, if you be not that Hamashiach, nor Eliyahu, neither that prophet? Yahuchanan answered them, saying, I immerse with water, but there stands one among you, whom ye know not. He it is, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Beit Avara, beyond the Ardan, where Yahuchanan was immersing. The next day, Yahuchanan sees Yahusha 
coming unto him and says, Behold, the Lamb of Yahweh, which takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man which is preferred, rather, preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Yahshadael. Therefore am I come immersing with water. And Yehuchanan bore record, saying, I saw the Ruach descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to immerse with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom you eth shall see the Ruach descending and remaining on him, the same is he which immerses with the Ruach HaKadosh. And I saw and bore record that this is the son of Elohim. Again the next day after Yehuchanan stood and two of his Talmudim and looking upon Yahusha as he walked he said Behold the Lamb of Yahuwah. And the two Talmudim heard him speak and they followed Yahusha. Then Yahusha turned and saw them following and said unto them What seek ye? He said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, teacher, where do you dwell? He said unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt, and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two which heard Yahuchanan speak and followed him was Andrai, Shimon, Kifa's brother. He first finds his brother Shimon and says unto him, We have found HaMashiach. And he brought him to Yahusha. And when Yahusha beheld him, he said, Eth, you are Shimon, the son of Yonah. You shall be called Kefa which is by interpretation a stone. The day following, Yahusha would go forth into Galil and find Philip and say unto him, Follow me. Now Eth Philip was of Beit Sayad, the city of Andrai and Kepha. Philip finds Nathaniel and says unto him, We have found him, of whom Moshe in the Torah and the prophets did write, Eth Yahusha of Nazareth, the son of Yosef. And Nathaniel said unto him, Can there anything good, Eth, come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. Yahusha saw Nathaniel coming to him and said of him, Behold, a Yashad Eli, indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathaniel said unto him, From whence do you know me? Yahusha answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, you are the son of Elohim. You are the king of Yahshadael. Yahusha answered and said unto him, Because I said unto you, I saw you under the fig tree, you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Amen, Amen, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of Yahweh ascending and descending upon the son of Adam.